Well, we're thrilled that Sister Christina is with us uh, and is the new publisher at Pauline Books and Media. Sister, thanks so much for being with us. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thanks, Jay. It's uh, good to see you both. Well, Hi. it's great to have you with us today. Hey, tell us a bit about your vocation to the Daughters of St. Paul. I always find those stories so interesting. Uh, well, I grew up reading the children's books that our sisters uh, write and published. And so as a kid, I especially liked the lives of the saints. And they had a really big impact on my own um, sense of having a relationship with Jesus, like that that feeling that like anybody could be a saint and anybody could have a friendship with the Lord. Uh, so I, I remember one day I was reading The Life of St. Francis Xavier, written by one of our sisters. And I was so struck, I was probably like 12 years old, and I was so struck by how um, she explained his call to the missions in terms of his love for Jesus, that like it was because he loved Jesus so much that he wanted other people to have the opportunity to get to know him. And so that kind of planted the first seed of my uh, vocation in my heart because in my in my child's mind, it was very simple logic. I was like, oh, I, I also want to do that. I want other people to get to know Jesus like I did. And that means there should be other daughters of St. Paul in the future making books like this. So um, when I got assigned to our publishing house 15 years ago, it was like this real grace from God for me because it was kind of like my vocation came a little <laughs> full circle. And I was like, yes, this is this is <laughs> this is what I wanted to do. I, I remember editing a saint's book for kids um, early early in my religious life and just being so happy to be able to do something to pass to pass that sense of having a friendship with the Lord onto onto kids. So Sister Christina, it's it's so great to have this chance to talk to you. I follow you on Twitter and TikTok and <laughs> uh, and have this chance to actually speak with you directly. Yeah. Thank you so much. You know, and I know you know this, Blessed James Alberione, the founder of the Daughters of St. Paul, was committed uh, to all means of sharing the gospel, to every possible means as you are. Tell us about, in general, we're stepping back here, the mission of the Pauline, Pauline Books and Media. So, yes, yeah, so the Daughters of St. Paul were founded to communicate the gospel through all the forms of media. So uh, we do that, like, first through our lives as women consecrated to God, and then also through all of the media that we produce and engage in. So. Um, I, I do dabble in social media, but um, I have not yet really broken into TikTok. So we have some sisters who are really good at uh, the whole TikTok thing. So we have sisters on all sorts of social media, sisters who write, who illustrate, uh, who sing, um, who give talks and who bring our books and media to parishes. And I think we'll actually be at the, the conference this weekend that you were talking about earlier. Right. So um, so any any way we can think of uh, to communicate the love of the Lord, that's that's our calling. Well, they, they could just hang out with Bonnie because she's a lot of fun to hang out with, you know. Oh, I think we pretty much do hang out with Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hangs out with fun. Bonnie. Everybody loves Bonnie. <laughs> hey, earlier in the year, you were named as publisher. Congratulations. What's a typical day like? Uh, well, I'm still getting used to that, um, but I, I kind of see the role of the publisher as being responsible for facilitating the work that everyone in our publishing house is doing, so to help keep things running smoothly. Um, the pandemic, for instance, has created a lot of difficulties and delays that no one had ever experienced before. Um, I'm really grateful to the our previous publisher, Sister Marie James, who got us through some of the most disorienting and uh, and scary parts of the pandemic, um, with a lot of grace. So, so she had she had a really hard job before me. But so I I spend my days trying to make sure details don't fall through the cracks, helping to troubleshoot problems and puzzles that arise um, as we try to create our media projects together. Um, in a lot of ways, it's the same as when I was on our editorial and marketing teams previous to this. So, so I spent about 15 years in our editorial uh, department and then a briefer period of time on our marketing team. Um, so all of us have a lot of 
praying in our days, a lot of meetings, a lot of email, and I think probably the biggest thing that's changed is that I have more meetings now than I did yeah. before. <laughs> hate meetings, hate them. But you know what, every time I see uh, the, uh, sister, the Daughters of St. Paul, be it at your, your house or out on the road, I'm always impressed that there are younger women that you, mm. you would you attract younger women to your ministry. Any, any uh, word for any young women who might be watching the show today and searching for direction in their lives? Um, I, I think if you, if you go to the Lord with an open heart and you sincerely want to know his will in your life, that God doesn't desire to keep that a secret from you and he will show you um, where, where he has in mind for you to thrive and find joy and happiness and um, to grow in your love for him. Mm -hmm. so. And check out the Daughters of St. Paul, too. Well, I mean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, sister, thank you so much. Where can people find out more about the Daughters and all the work that you do? Uh, so you can find us on our website at pauline.org. And on social media, if you search the hashtag media nuns, you will find all sorts of Daughters of St. Paul all over your favorite social media platforms. All very easy. I like that. Sister, thanks mm -hmm. so much for being with us. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for having me. God bless bye -bye. you. Yeah, you too. Bye. bye, -bye.